Do you really need to upgrade to Canva Pro? Hmm. Hey there, I'm Kimberly Yarbo from AlamoDesign.com and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you seven reasons why you need to upgrade from the free version of Canva to Canva Pro. So if you wanna know if the $13 is worth the upgrade, keep watching. All right, let's get started with number one, which is my favorite reason for upgrading to Canva Pro. It's that you can upload your own fonts. Now this is a game changer because if you wanna stay on brand and have a unique design to your Pinterest pins or your Instagram stories, you're gonna to wanna to be able to upload your own fonts. Now you can get fonts anywhere from Creative Market, to thefont.com, 1001 fonts. There's a lot of places you can get fonts, but you have to be sure that you familiarize yourself with the licensing of those fonts, because even if you purchase a font, it may just be for personal use and you won't be able to use it for something you plan to sell unless you buy an extended commercial license for that font. But if it's a free font and you're planning on just using it for something personal, like your Instagram stories or social media in any type of way, then you're pretty much free to use those fonts. The other reason uploading your fonts is great is because everyone has access to the standard fonts that are in Canva, but by uploading your own fonts, you can make sure that everyone is not gonna have the same fonts. Number two is the transparent background feature. Now, if you have Canva Pro, you can save all of your graphics with a transparent background. That way, you don't have that big white box in the background and you don't have to download it as a JPEG, then upload it into another program to get the transparent background. You can just go ahead and click transparent background on Canva and download your image with the transparent background. Number three, you can create photo folders for your images that you upload to Canva. Now, let me explain what I mean. So in Canva, you can upload your own images to use. And if you're like me, you have hundreds of images and you don't wanna just flip back through all of those images when you're trying to find an old one that you uploaded. So with Canva Pro, you can create folders for your images so that they can have a title. So I may have um, a folder for all my stock photos or a folder for all of my fashion photos or photos that I took on a certain date. So by organizing your photos in the folders, it would make it much easier to go back and grab one that you uploaded, say, about two months ago. And also with folders, you can organize your designs. Now in the free version of Canva, you're allowed to have two folders to organize your designs that you've completed in Canva. However, with the pro version, you can have an unlimited number of folders to organize all of your designs. So if you wanna put your Pinterest pins in one folder, and your Instagram stories in another folder, and your YouTube thumbnails in one folder, you can organize those all in folders and you don't have to have them all spread out in one place. All right, and number four is animated graphics. Now this feature was available for a while before I even noticed it in Canva Pro. So this is great because you can turn whatever graphic you make into an animated graphic or GIF or GIF or however you say it. But anyway, you can take whatever image you make and turn it into an animated graphic. So if you wanna do your Instagram stories and have letters slide in or words slide in or even pictures slide in, you can do that. And now with the addition of video on Pinterest, you can use this feature to turn your Pinterest pins into animated graphics. If you'd like to see a tutorial on how to do an animated graphic in Canva, just click right here and you'll get a video to show you how to do that. And number five is magic size. So with the magic size feature, you can, well, okay, let me explain it like this. Say you make an image for, to post on Facebook. And it's so cute, you're like, okay, I think I wanna post this on Instagram, and I think I wanna make a Pinterest image of this, and I think I wanna do Twitter as well. But you know all of those platforms have different sizes for you to upload, right? So who has time to sit there and make a different size for each one and then download it, blah, 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 blah. What you can do is just click the magic resize button, and ta-da! Canva automatically will resize it to whatever size you want. It will change your images and your fonts and everything and kind of put it towards the new size. You might have to do some tweaking and adjust 
your graphics on the canvas a little bit, but it's not gonna be much and it's gonna save you so much time. Number six is that you can create brand kits in Canva. So if you have your brand colors and your logos, and all of that, you can keep them in one place in your brand kit so that you don't have to keep looking up the six digit hex code for the font color that you like. When you create a brand kit on Canva, you can set up and group all of your brand elements in one place. You can group your brand colors, your fonts, and your logos. Having all of these things in one place and easily accessible makes it easy to stay on brand when you're designing. And number seven, you can have access to extra exclusive photos, elements, and now fonts that everyone else on the free version does not have. So even though some of these images and elements are not paid for, like you don't have to pay the extra dollar for them, they are free. However, they have a gold star next to them, so they're only available for those who have a pro account. And more recently, Canva has added extra fonts to their platforms so now you have a more wide array of fonts that you can choose from but again if they have that gold star by them even though they're free for you to use they're not accessible to those who have the free version of Canva all right so after hearing all of those options do you think upgrading to Canva Pro is worth it well if you want to try it for 30 days you can do a free 30-day trial I'll put the link below in the description box after the 30-day trial it is $12.95 per month However, if you pay a year in advance, it's, it only comes out to $9.95 a month. If you're not sure if it's worth the 13 bucks a month, go ahead and just give it a try for the 30 days. Test all the features out, see if you like it. Thank you so much for watching and for more ideas on elevating your visual brand, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.